Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? I uh, just wanted to show something that I bought recently. It came in the mail today. Um, it's the uh, Buck 119. Uh, I think the 119 Special is what they call it. It's a hunting knife. Uh, didn't buy it for hunting, but it is of the same design used by Ghostface in Scream. Um, they actually... I think mostly used the uh, Buck 120. Uh, that one is no longer being made, as far as I know, and this is basically the uh, current design. Uh, the main difference, really, is just length of blade. I'm not sure if the handle is much longer. It probably is a little bit longer, uh, but mainly it's the length of blade. I do believe the uh, the Buck 120 is close to an 8 inch blade, if not an 8 inch blade. Uh, this one I think is about 6, a little over 6. So, a little bit longer knife. <clears throat> it's uh, got a longer blood groove there. Um, still a very nice knife. Looks pretty much exactly like the, the one used in the film. Uh, like I said, I do believe in certain scenes and in certain parts of uh, a couple of the movies they actually use this particular knife. Uh, I'm not sure what the story behind that is, why they used uh, this one over the other one, or anything like that, but it's a very nice knife, it's a, a very good weight to it, it's it's not heavy, but it's not super light at the same time to where, you know, you just don't feel a weight in your hand, uh, it's got a really nice grip to it, it, it kind of looks like it would be like slippery in your hand, but it, it it's not, it's a really good feel to it. It's a really smooth feel. Uh, it comes... Uh, it's, it's very sharp right out of the box. I mean, it's... Uh, I uh, I grabbed a, a piece of paper and just to check it out. Because, I mean, you can obviously run your finger across there and feel the edge on the blade. But I ran it down a piece of paper and, it, I mean, it just cut through it like it was air. So, uh, it does come very sharp out of the out of the box. Uh, you can get this on Amazon for about fifty dollars. Uh, you can also pick them up at Walmart, as far as I know, for about forty-five. I think I'm sure it'll probably be close to fifty after tax. That's why I just went ahead and ordered it on Amazon. But uh, really, really cool knife, uh, made by Buck. Uh, does have a, a lifetime warranty that came with it. Uh, I, don't know if I got the. I have the box laying around. Uh, it's not in reach, and I don't feel like getting up to get it. So, but uh, yeah, it's just something cool to have. Comes with a comes with a sheath. So even though it doesn't say that on uh, on Amazon, uh, it just talks about the knife. Don't order a sheath with it because I was gonna do that, and then I read some reviews, and a guy said that he actually did that. He ordered a sheath, and uh, you know because Amazon's description doesn't show that it has a sheath, and it actually does. Back of the sheath says 119 there. This is Buck Knives. It's a nice sheath. Uh, very thick. Very uh, very sturdy material. There's your belt loop and uh, your clip here. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to show that off. I uh, thought that was uh, something cool to show everybody. Like I said, it's it's fairly affordable. If you like collecting things like this or... You know, like getting stuff from movies or whatever. It's just something that I always like doing. I always think it's neat, especially when you know, in a film, when they use a real-world object as opposed to you know something that's custom that you can't just go out and buy. Uh, you know, uh, example, Freddy Glove. I mean, it, it's really cool now that we live in a day and age that you know there are websites like KnifeGlove.com and. Uh, or sorry, knifegloves.com and uh, razorgloves.com and, and different places like that. And then you know, NECA has made a few, not not great, but okay. And uh, you know, if you're looking for something like that, like a prop replica, and there are some out there that are affordable. Same with hockey masks, you know, machetes, different things. Uh, <clears throat> I do have, I think I've shown this before. I have a, it's somewhat of a replica of the the Joker knife. Uh, from Batman, the original knife is just outrageous to try to buy the one with you know the button where it comes straight out, and uh, those are apparently illegal to own, uh, 
or well, I don't think it's illegal to own them. It's illegal to carry them, so most places won't uh, replicate them. So they make it to where you know it's legal to carry a uh, a spring assisted knife is is legal to carry. But I mean, it pops out fast. It's just it's different. You know, it's it's not the same style knife. It looks like it, but it's not. So, but it, this was like eight dollars. You know, like if you like stuff like this, this was like eight bucks on uh, eBay. So you know. But uh okay, I'm dragging on a little bit here, so hope uh hope you all enjoyed checking out this knife. Uh like I said, uh if anybody collects stuff or anything, love to see what uh see what you have or discuss uh you know, other prop replicas or, or other things like that. So just uh hit me up in the comments or PM me or something like that. But alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.